All right, so this is a video to describe what the ruckus access point is. This is what uh, your Wi-Fi originates from. Uh, you can see I labeled it. There's some lights on here that indicate it's on, but if you look at that side here, I'll flip it upside down so it's legible. But you have your power, your area control are usually off, but the 2.4G and the 5G are two different networks. Uh, the 2.4 is it's a slower network by a little bit, but it reaches further. The 5G is faster, but it doesn't reach as far. And so uh, the bottom here, if I ever need to look for a MAC address, you can see that's on the barcode there. You can see that one cable, there is no power going to this. There's just an ethernet cable, and you can see it's got a light on it, meaning that it's got power as well as the lights up here show that it's got power. Um, there is a power barrel plug there, but it didn't come with them. So the way this is getting power is through the ethernet and that's called PoE, which is power over ethernet is what that stands for. So you need to have power coming into that ethernet cable as well as data. So the way that happens is a couple different methods. Um, we have these plugged into the AdTran at most sites because that was already existing. And so the ad trans in most cases do not have a PoE port. So there's what's called a PoE injector. And you can see here at the top, I have that blue cable labeled to commander shelf, which is what the, it's going to the ad tran. And I don't know if I can focus on it here. On the very top right there. Yeah, it says LAN. So that's just local area network. And then that port, you can, if you can see it, it says PoE. So that's your LAN or your data going in. This is your power and data, because it's data in, injects power on this end, obviously you plug that into the wall, and then it goes out through this with power and data. So that's why this end has both. And so, if you ever need to reboot this, if you don't have Wi-Fi for whatever reason, going to your handhelds or your Lula tablet, or whatever else, and it's across the board, Wi-Fi is not acting right. The best way to reboot this is reboot the PoE injector, and that's, see if I can do it here with resting this <laughs> phone here, well, yeah, I'll do that. Nope. Okay, so, take the PoE injector and just unplug it. You can see it's got that three prong Kind of similar to the standard one, but it's got rounded uh, ports. But yeah, so now you can see like the Lula tablet, it says no internet. You can also see here, no lights on the ruckus. Nothing. And so I didn't hit the ruckus at all. And now, if I plug that back in, to do this with <laughs> holding the camera but yeah you can see the poe injector has that little light tells you it has power as well i got a red light on power so as with most devices as soon as you plug this back in it's going to take two to three minutes for it to go through its cycle and be completely loaded uh, the luna tablet still says no internet so that will come back after this two or three minutes is up, you'll see that power light to be solid. And then the 2.4 and 5G uh, lights illuminate as well, indicating that each network is up. Uh, so I'll go over to the AdTran to show you where the blue cable is coming from. Sorry. So here is the AdTran. And you can see that on port eight, because it's not lit, the one that's right there, that's the bottom one. That says to PoE injector right on that cable. So that is going from the AdTran to that PoE injector, and then it goes from the PoE injector to the ruckus access points. That's what does your Wi-Fi. Okay, the other thing I should note is that PoE injector, as I said, that's only necessary if you don't have a PoE port. So some of these AdTrans do, so I'm pointing that out. These AdTrans look very similar, but if you zoom in on that, that says, Net Vanta 1531, right on the corner there. That's the model number of this AdTran. If you see a 1531P or a letter after that, that basically indicates that 
these eight ports right in the middle there all have PoE capability. If it is that the different model, that ports nine and ten do not, uh, just because they're separate. So anyway, and then in Hickman, I think we have adapters for those eleven and twelve ports. They're not PoE capable either, obviously. So anyway, there is a possibility if you have one of the newer version ad trans that some of those ports are PoE capable. If not, you're going to need to have that PoE injector to power the ruckus. That says NetVanta 1531 right on the corner there. That's the model number of this Adtran. If you see a 1531P or a letter after that, that basically indicates that these eight ports right in the middle there all have PoE capability. If it is that the different model, that ports nine and 10 do not uh, just because they're separate, so. Anyway, and then in Hickman, I think we have adapters for those 11 and 12 ports. They're not PoE capable either, obviously. So anyway, there is a possibility if you have one of the newer version ad trans that some of those ports are PoE capable. If not, you're going to need to have that PoE injector to power the ruckus.